Hello everybody and today we'll talk about the feather or sorry fuzzy select tool this fuzzy this is the fuzzy select tool right here it's very similar to the color tool but we'll get into that on a different one so today we're just going to talk about this here fuzzy select tool which is also known as the magic wand. Now when you have the fuzzy select tool highlighted and selected there are these different options down here. There's anti-aliasing which just helps to smooth the edges out on the selection. Feathered edges. Select transparent areas. Sample merged, threshold, and then these other values down here. Such as red, green, blue, hue, saturation, and value. So when you go to use the fuzzy select tool, you can pick any of these also. If you want more of just the saturation, or if you just want to select the green areas or a composite which is all those values combined and then you have a threshold here okay so let's take a look at that threshold well first why don't we take a look at the fuzzy select tool and what it actually does it's one of the easier tools to use straight out of the box, so to speak, because you can just click on an area and then you'll end up with a selection. So if we click out here in this blue area right here. We see that it selects this circle area. Okay. It took all those values the red, the green, the blue, the hue, the saturation, all of those with a threshold of 15 and came up with this selected area right here. Okay? So that means that any anything with a value that's within 15 points of this blue selected area we selected is within this area right here. Okay. Now you can also change your threshold. And you can move it up quite a bit. And now if you click, you see the selected circle has gotten quite a bit smaller. It's accepting a lot more values. It's accepting 97.5 of the values from within difference from within the selected area we originally were selecting. Okay. So what can we do with this selected area? Well if we click as we clicked out here, it selected the circle area, but also selected, as you can see these marching ants or dancing lines along the border also. So this whole area is now selected. So we can go and we can go into edit. And we can go down to clear. And we can clear that area out. And now there's nothing here. This is just transparent area. And we're left with this circle now. And we can do with that as however we choose. Another thing we can do, we can go into select and we can click on invert. When we click on invert, we see the circle is still highlighted, but there's no dancing lines or marching ants on the outside of the border. So that means only the inner circle is selected. And we can do the same thing. We can do a clear on that. I'm going to use my hotkey of delete to do that. 
So as you can see, now there's nothing in here. It's just transparent. Okay. So that's just a couple things you can do. Now we were talking about the threshold and how we can change that value to whatever we want. Another way you can change that value, since you don't know, like say you want to come into this area right about here. You want to take a larger portion of that circle out, but you don't know what the threshold value would be exactly for that. Well, when you click your fuzzy select tool, you can drag it down or to the right, and it will increase this threshold value. At the same time, if you were to click it and go up or to the left, it will decrease that threshold value. Okay? So let's try that. We'll click. We have our selected area. But without, now we'll drag it down. And as you can see, as we drag our fuzzy select tool down, that circle is getting smaller. That selected area is getting smaller. And if you look at the threshold value, we're at 53 right now. Let's say this is where we want to end our circle. But we had no clue that it was going to be a 53 value. This is the easier way to do that. Or we can say we want to go in just a little bit further still. So we'll go in just a little bit further. And now we're at a threshold value of 68. If that's too far, bring your fuzzy select tool up or to the left. And you'll see that it goes out and it decreases that threshold value. So now we're at a 45.5. Okay. So that's the basics on the fuzzy select tool and how you can use that very quickly and make selections. So let's look at something else here. Let's look at this image here. All right, this is the same. It has a blue background. It has this white circle still in the center. But as you can see, We've added this red circle with a blue center in it. And this blue value is the same as this blue value out here. Also, I've added a different color, a lighter shade of blue to this. And I've brought that down. Okay. So let's see what happens when we click on this. What's the difference between this background and the one we were just using. So we're still at a default radius of 15, but as you can see, it stops right along this border of the red. And it does not go into this blue area, even though it's the, this blue area is the same value as this. It has the same value density and everything else as this out here that we selected but there's no continuous way to get into that area so it will not select that area it only selects the area that's continuous okay and you'll also notice that this lighter blue shade is no longer within the 10 or 15 value threshold value we have selected. But of course we know we can go in, up into this area and select more of it by increasing this threshold value. And the easiest way we know to do that is just to click and drag. And now we have this as a completed circle again. This does not go into the red at all and still does not affect this blue area because there's no continuous way in and this red border is not within the 15 
or actually we're at a higher value now, but whatever our value is at now, it's not within that value. Plus this upper blue area. So let's do a clear on this and see what we have. I'll just click delete. Okay. So we have this selected just as before. This looks the same as we did it before. But this time, we have the blue area up here. And it's not within our 15 value. And this red area. Now I want you to take note. You see along this red, red border right here? It stops very abruptly. See how it stops abruptly? There's no blue outside of it. There's no other colors outside of it. And it's a solid red color. Nice, bright, solid red color. With crisp lines. Okay. So let's go and let's check out some of these other features now. Let's check out the feathered edges. And we'll take the radius up to 100. And we'll do the exact same thing that we've been doing. We'll start here in our blue canvas area here in the background. And we'll click. And we'll drag. Okay. So we're left with pretty much the same thing. Let's click and drag that a little bit more. So it looks the same, right? We have this selected. And we have these selected with the blue here. But what happens when we do a clear now? Now, you can see this is no longer a bright red border. It's slightly transparent. And there's a blue hue along the outside of it, as well as a blue, a blue ring around this outside also, the outside of this. That's our feathered edges. Okay. It's feathering these two edges to blend them together more. Okay. So this is blending these, these edges in together, and this is blending this ed these edges in together. Okay. So now we know it won't select this blue value even though it's on the same values as this because there's no continuous way in. And we know that it'll feather and make this transparent. Now what happens when we're working on an image and we have multiple layers? We'll stop this and we'll have a part two.